Hey, how are you doing? I'm glad you're here. Sorry I've been MIA for a couple more days. Not been feeling the best. So I'm kind of just here and I figured wise up because I'm actually making me some food. And I, you know, you have to eat every day when you feel good or not. Oh, and with this cold weather, I really ain't feeling this between everything going on. So I take every shortcut I can. And since I'm up, I figured I'd tell y'all uh, quick soaking. You can quick soak a lot of things whenever you're on your way. So if you're on your bike between stopping the gas station and, you know, your next stop where you know you're going to have to cook out before you set up camp. Yeah. Ugh. Let me bring it so Can you hear me now? Yeah. So anyway. Oh, Lord. What you're going to do is you're going to quick soak. Uh, I'm not going to go into what quick soaking is, but anybody that cooks knows what soaking is. You soak your beans. You soak rice. You can quick soak anything. And it's brings it almost to the point to where it is almost to the point to where it is uh well crud yeah you can bring it to the point where it's almost cooked so the way that i do this and i just upgrade it so y'all forgive me because this is kind of a big one peanut butter jar boom yeah peanut butter jar you put whatever you want in here and you don't have to use a big peanut butter jar like this I just got it because I can wrap it up and tie it up uh, and as y'all know I ride eight painters any handlebars will work though but you put your stuff in here that you want to quick cook you can put it carry ziploc bags I'll do that a lot of times I'll have like rice in the bottom and maybe you know ramen noodles in the top and that way they're both soaking so whenever I get ready to heat them up it don't take no time I can boil the water drop the the little bags in and go to town but what i do everybody wears a bandana or has some kind of rag i use a schmock and it's kind of big but the easiest way to do it put your stuff in there you just roll it up you roll it up just like this once you got it rolled up in there you roll one side one way and one side the other way during the summertime if you want to find a cold creek or something and you're out hiking you want to cool down <laughs> Throw it on your neck. Tie it on your handlebars. You know, you know, make sure it's secure though. But that's the reason I, I use the schmock for everything. Like I said, you just roll it right in the center of the schmock. Tie it on your handlebars. There you go. If it starts leaking, you can see it. So you can pull over and stop. Uh, like I said, uh, in the winter time, your feet get cold. Fill it up with warm water before you go to bed. Throw it in the bottom of your sleeping bag along with your clothes. Pow! Put it underneath your pillow. You know, I use... Um, my bladder, which I carry a couple different bladders. I use my bladder as a pillow, so I put warm water in it sometimes at night. But you know, you lose so much heat out of your head. It keeps you warm at night when you're sleeping in the cold. This is how I cold soak. And then just tie it straight up. When you get where you're going, take it out. You get your cold soak right there. That cuts your cooking time in half. So, anyway, till next time, see ya.